There are serious injustices in the world that should make people frustrated and angry, and it's often misery and suffering that inspire people to change things for the better. But we shouldn't get so caught up in the struggle that we forget that the reason to resist injustice is so that people can be free and happy. If we spend every second focusing on the problem, on the negative, it can end up sucking all the positivity out of life. We don't live forever, and the world will never be perfect. So if we can't enjoy life while trying to make things better, what's the point? I think one of the best ways to be happy is to make it a point to be grateful for what we do have, whether it's a lot or a little. We need to appreciate the freedom and prosperity we still have while continuing to fight against what's still wrong so future generations don't have to. If those trying to fix the world come across as complainers and malcontents, who in their right mind would want to join them? Really, the message of true freedom and self-ownership is the one all-inclusive vision for humanity that allows for happy, peaceful coexistence, even among people with very different values and preferences, priorities and lifestyles. However heated the debate may get, we have to remember that the goal is not just to be free ourselves, but to help the other person to be free too. We're all still learning, and knowing more than someone else doesn't necessarily make you better than them. We all started ignorant. Whatever you know now, you didn't always know, and you don't know now what you will know later. Each of us, as our understanding grows, need to learn from others and teach others, so we all benefit from each other's experiences and awakenings. It's clear there's a massive global shift in consciousness going on, and even calling it a movement makes it sound as if there's some exclusive club of people in the know. This is really the awakening of humanity we're talking about. We're all in this together, on the same team, and that team is humanity, and real victory requires us getting out of the us versus them mentality. There are many individuals who have made great contributions to the cause of liberty, but the way to make real change happen is not by finding the right person to follow. Lead yourself. A movement that depends on some leader can be stopped just by tearing down that one person. But an idea that is understood by millions, nothing can stop that. Those who crave power want us to be miserable and constantly fighting amongst ourselves. If we're getting along and aren't scared of each other, why would we need politicians for anything? So the last thing tyrants want to see is the people they want to rule being happy, content, and getting along fine without them. Peaceful coexistence is the arch enemy of authority. I talk about a lot of really serious issues, and there are major injustices which need to be ended. But this battle, if you want to call it that, isn't the goal. It's just what has to happen so we can focus on the important things in life. Peace, prosperity, and happiness. We shouldn't be practicing being miserable and negative. We should be practicing being grateful and enjoying life while we work to improve things. Despite how those in power try to spin things, anarchism isn't based on intolerance or hatred. It's based on the love of humanity and the desire to see all people everywhere living happy lives. The world isn't perfect, and we're not promising some utopia but we can do a whole lot better than what we have now. Tolerance and non-aggression are the answer to oppression and domination. Once a critical mass of people understands that and acts accordingly, that's the end of government power. So let those playing political games be grouchy, angry, and divisive. Those of us actually advocating liberty and justice for all have every reason to be happy. Authoritarianism is crumbling, while volunteerism is growing by leaps and bounds. In politics, if I win, you lose. In anarchism, where we don't use the state to try to control each other, we both win. Universal freedom benefits me, benefits you, benefits all decent people everywhere. That's why more and more people are choosing peaceful coexistence over politics and choosing freedom and happiness over slavery and misery. What could be more hopeful and positive than that? We have every reason to be happy and have fun as we invite more and more people to step out of the cage of authoritarianism into true humanity. There are so many different organizations and events for those interested in activism, which can be a great way to network, to learn new things, and to just have fun with like-minded people. And if you still believe the usual stereotype about anarchists, you should see just how upbeat, caring, and happy a group of people with no respect for authority can be. However you get involved, and whoever you talk to, even if it feels like an uphill battle, always remember that the message of freedom is a truly positive message, one that empowers and liberates people and brings them together. The ultimate goal here is the happiness of the human race, and there's no reason not to have fun and enjoy ourselves while we're freeing minds and fixing the world. Human beings are meant to be free, and are meant to be happy.